Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to mix Vetifarm's worm out gel. If you choose to treat in water, here are a few tips to help you get the job done right. Avoid medicating on generally cold days and damp days. Birds' water intake will generally be less on days like these, and birds will drink water off their wire, off their cages, before touching medicated water. Likewise, avoid medicating on extremely hot days, as birds' water intake will be double or triple what it usually would be. Worming solutions can be quite bitter, and often birds will refuse to drink medicated water. Adding a small amount of orange juice to sweeten the water will often help with these fussy drinkers. Also, make sure you remove all other types of water and wet food whilst medicating. Birds will choose to eat things like fruits or sprouts to get moisture rather than drink their medication. Measuring the medication is really easy. One pump is equal to one mil. We recommend using a jar with a secure lid for mixing worm out gel, as this provides a much faster way to achieve an evenly mixed solution. So two pumps of worm out gel into 160 mils of water. Pop in our lid and shake well. All these directions are also on the reverse of our label. If adding orange juice, remember to supplement 40 mils of water with your 40 mils of juice. You need to provide the medicated water for two days and replace with a fresh solution every 24 hours. Now I find it much easier to make up two days worth of medication. Use half on the first day and put the other half back in the fridge to be changed out on the second day. You will need to ensure that it's mixed through properly as the gel will settle at the bottom of the container after a period of time. While anyone can use worm out gel in water, worm out gel is also designed for direct administration using a medication or crop needle. In birds in emergencies or in any circumstance that a bird's water consumption is in question. It is only recommended that you attempt this if you are familiar and confident with the technique. Then there is a technique of using a crop or medication needle. If you would like to find out more about how to crop needle, check out our YouTube video or consult with your local veterinarian. Worms must be taken seriously. If left untreated, there is a significant chance of death in your birds. Australian natives, and in particular princess parrots, are especially at risk, but exotics are also very susceptible. Keep on top of your worming schedule and you will have healthy and worm-free birds. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. And remember, the Better Farm team is only a phone call away.